Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make an object highlight when you get near it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to explain this super simple tutorial. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to that subscribe button. We're almost at 58,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get right into this. Um, you're going to go in the description and you're going to grab the link, which I will show you in a second. But it should be in the description. Um, it's going to be this near object highlight. Sorry. Um, and yeah, you're just going to grab this super simple. You can download it or you can just hit this get model right here. Um, and yeah, you're going to head into studio. Um, once you're in studio, you're going to go to inventory um, or if you download it, go to model and hit the download model. Um, but you're just going to grab this right here and import it. It's going to be a script. Um, it's going to be this one right here, highlighting objects. <clears throat> now you're going to put this in starter player scripts. So put it in starter player scripts and I'm going to show you what this looks like. So basically when you get near an object um, that you have currently set up uh, to um, one second. Ah. All right. Sorry about that. So yeah, you just walk near it and boom, it's highlighted. So what can you use for this? Now, this is kind of something I thought I would bring out to you guys, because if you want to make a story game or make some showcase game or something just cool, um, and you want to add little secrets and you want to have little highlighted objects. This is great for doing that because when someone gets near it, let's say you had a click detector in here or, um, you know, something like that, you can do special things. Um, now, of course, if you wanted to do it where it's like a click detector, um, you can always just have a click detector, a click detector, add highlights, but this is actually a little different. So then like if they don't highlight over the object, when they get near it, it's going to be highlighted. So it's honestly really cool to do. So how this works is in this script right here, um, you're going to do well, you're going to do with one thing. Okay. So you're going to create a part, a model, whatever you need to do. Um, let's say you create this and you're going to have to use a tag editor. If you have a plugin, I have this tag editor plugin, um, instant tagging, um, really easy to do. Or you could use in my script right here, there's a little thing right here. You can put this in a command bar. There's this little command bar I have down here. And you just grab, you go to workspace, make sure it's your object, you know. So it'd be like game.workspace.part, because uh, that's what the name is. And then you would uh, just simply copy and paste that into uh, the command bar and it would add it for you. But basically using this tag editor, it's a super easy plugin. I really recommend you guys get it. As you can tell, as I'm highlighting other different ones, this one does have, doesn't have the tag and this one does. So you would just basically click this um, and boom, uh, it has a highlight tag now. So you're easy to do and this one's going to get highlighted. Um, and this works for models as well, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so <clears throat> how the scripts works is we're grabbing a few of the services right here. Players, character, from right part, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're going to use the highlight tag. It's going to be called highlight. You can change this if you want. Highlight distance is set to 10. If you want to make it larger, so then if they get a little bit like uh, farther away or closer to it, you can set that to that oh, your likings. Um, we're creating active highlights to, uh, listings, but um, basically, yeah, preventing multiple highlights. Um, but of course, you know how this is going to work is it's going to apply the highlight here. If you want to also, I forgot to say, if you want to customize the highlight color, things like that, you can use this function and use this uh, settings right here. Um, remove highlight is going to remove all the highlights. Um, that's just going to double check if they're near it or not. Get distance. Uh, this is another function. But basically, we're going to use run service render stepped and we're going to check at all times if they are near this item or not. If they are, then we are going to apply that highlight. If they aren't, then we're going to remove it. As you can tell, if distance is greater as less than or equal to highlight distance, then we are going to um, apply it and then uh, remove it if they are not. So that's pretty much it. Super simple, nothing too crazy. Like I said, just make sure you're adding the tags, things like that. And if you want to customize the tag color, things like that, it's all in the script. I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial. I have a lot more tutorials coming. I'm so sorry about the delay of videos. Been very, very busy. But I will see you guys in the next video.